Hello, Fun Hustler here, and we have another thrift vlog and everything vlog. We're gonna see what we can get into buying and reselling used goods. What's going on, guys and gals? Chris, the Bonafide Hustler, coming to you live from outside. I'm taking a little walk, getting my eyes away from the laptop. But yeah, we have another everything vlog. These kind of vlogs show a little bit into like the daily of my life, whatever. I hope you enjoy them. Hit the like button early, please. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at the Bonafide Hustler, and you get the free money making guide right, right here. It's the first link down below. That's right, you can learn 50 items, what to buy, what to resell, that you can commonly find at thrift stores and garage sales. And I'll let you know right now. Oh yeah, Jackets to Bucks is coming out soon. Oh my God. It's the eighth guide in the Bonafide Hustler guide lineup. It's gonna be super awesome, but it's coming out soon. Let's get to the vlog and see where this vlog takes us. Okay, about to sell a bike rack that I bought last weekend. Sitting right here, let's get it sold. Sold that bike rack for a hundred bucks. I picked it up last weekend for 10 on a garage sale vlog that should be before this one. But anyway, so yeah, a little hundred bucks, pretty quick. 30 second transaction, I'll take it. Now I just lost a clip of this thrift store that I went to, but I found this helmet. Let's check it out. Cascade S helmet, it's a lacrosse helmet, and it's actually one of the newer models, which is pretty cool. This was $10 the other day at a thrift store, basically 11 out the door, and it should sell for about one to 150, maybe $200. But yeah, look out for a Cascade S. I'm telling you, these are really cool. Kind of hard to find, but uh, they're definitely sleek and wanted lacrosse helmets. Now I gotta put all these shoe boxes together, get all these shoes in there, and I gotta clean this garage up. There's so much stuff everywhere. Hey, look, there's a CC Filson jacket that I found today at a thrift store for $11. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff everywhere and we gotta get this stuff put up. Okay, next up, we are like a day down the road and I have to sell this uh, garage sale table that I found for 10 bucks. It's sitting right here. It's like this weird, like fake mid-century modern looking thing. It folds as well. 10 bucks selling it for 70, was asking about a hundred. So I took the $70 offer, it's gonna be cash. I mean, I may as well. So I just got the word that the lady's almost here and uh, put it outside the front lawn. Make it look kind of cool. This thing, I don't even think this thing is $70 new, but if someone wants to pay it, you know, whatever. All right, looks like the person showed up. There they are. Let's get this thing sold. Just like that, we got 70 bucks. Pretty good, so cash money. All right, so we are a day down the road and it looks like this tennis racket right here that I picked up from a garage sale for 10 bucks is going to sell for 60. Locally, so that's pretty good. It's a Babolat right here. Pretty nice, pure drive, I think, or something like that. Pretty cool. Anyway, so yeah, uh, it's a power, a pure power 360. So nice tennis racket. It's gonna be kind of dark when this guy picks it up. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's ready to go. It's from a garage sale. It was in a good part of town. And why not make 50 bucks cash? I'm all about it. Okay, I think the person's here. Electric car. But yeah, this is the uh, racket right here. Let's go. All right, so next day and some things are gonna be shipped out, but last night I made a mistake on one of those tennis rackets or that tennis racket. Um, I was off by like a one word. It was a Babolat pure power racket. And the guy thought it was a pure drive racket. My listing had said a pure drive racket. And so the $60 racket, I was supposed to get 60 bucks for that racket. I ended up, since I made a mistake, I sold it to him for 30 bucks, which is cool. I still made 20 bucks, but Anyway, you know, simple mistake. Um, every now and then I'll have mistakes, you know, just like anyone else. But when he came, he came from a very close place. So that was nice. He didn't come from like far away. And uh, so I didn't feel super bad. Plus, you know, if you make a mistake, you got to remedy that stuff. So sold it to him for 30 bucks, which is cool. But here we are the next morning and we have, you know, some things that have sold on eBay. Um, let's think here. I'll kind of flash a picture of everything that has sold. Um, we have a bare bones cooler that was $10 at a garage sale. I think it sold for 59 picture right here. We have, it's kind of weird and I'll explain something here in a second, but we also have a pair of Dana, Danner Arcadia boots. I think these were like five bucks at a garage sale, maybe even a dollar at a garage sale. I think they sold for 80. Um, a pair of Under Armour size nine green hover, uh, like outdoor shoes. They were $10 at a garage sale. They sold for, I think, 95 if I'm not mistaken, maybe 90. Um, a Cascade S helmet, youth uh, lacrosse helmet. Um, I just found this thing last week for $11. It sold for $119, I believe. It just sold like seconds ago, so I pulled the box. Now, the interesting part about the entire thing is that 
I made sure to promote every one of my listings on eBay, um, with the exception of three, but that was for some other reason. But I recently promoted all of them on eBay, and it's crazy because there's definitely been a spike in business for sure. But the other part is, is that it's almost like the people are not even seeing the fact that there's a best offer option on there. They're buying some of these items for face value, which is interesting. So what I've come to find out is that when you do the promoted listings thing on eBay, which is called the dynamic rate, um, you know, on an average, let's say $70 sale, for example, maybe $100 sale, eBay is going to take somewhere between like eight and maybe $11, which is not bad especially if the people aren't offering anything and it's bypassing that portion, it seems to be, um, that's kind of cool. Cause when people offer, you know, on your items, a lot of times it's significantly lower or it's, you know, anyway, I think, I, I think that the, the promoted listings thing, the dynamic thing really keeps you in the game pretty good from what I can see in the limited time that I've experimented with it. Um, I think it's pretty cool. What do you guys think down below? Let me know. I got to get this stuff out to the USPS or the UPS store and, uh, go along the day and see where the rest of the vlog takes us. Oh yeah, quick thing. Did you know that Bonafide Hustler Patreon is up and running? That's right, if you wanna learn more about some of the things that you see on these vlogs and things that you never see on these vlogs, there's actually a portion of the Patreon called Just The Finds. And uh, these are in-depth videos that are, they last pretty long. Um, but yeah, there's a like one or two per month, depending on what tier you want to uh, engage in. Go check it out, Bonafide Hustler Patreon. And it'll be the third link down below, something like that. If it's for you and you want to learn more and make more cheddar, you should go check out the Patreon. All right, so we're thrifting here in Sabres and found something cool. Do you know what this is? Do you know what this is? 10 bucks. I think I'm getting ripped off. These are the moon, what are they called? Moonscape? Something like that? Girlfriend's over here. She don't want to be on the camera. Um, you know, like Moonscape or whatever. These are Yeezy slides. Pretty awesome. 10 bucks. Probably gonna resell for 200 locally, 250 eBay, something like that. Moon grades, what they're called. Yeah, found them right here in the shoe well. Crazy. Okay, so it continues to be hot here in Austin, Texas. I mean, most of the Bonafide Hustler videos, there's no shirt on. That's just the way it is. It's hot. It started to rain yesterday, which is kind of cool. We had what 60 or 120 days of no rain. It was pretty nuts. So uh, I gotta ship something off, which means I'm gonna get on the bike try to go in the neighborhood and see if I can find a post man or post lady. Um, but the thing that's sold is here. We have a Cascade S lacrosse helmet. Pretty nice. Um, you should look for these things at the sporting goods sections of your thrift stores and garage sales. The S model is pretty, you know, wanted. Um, and yeah, this one sold for, I think a hundred, if I'm not mistaken. And I got into it for, I think it was like seven dollars seven dollars on sunday which was four days ago so anyway ready sold and um gotta get it boxed up which the box is right here and we should be good to go but yeah you can learn a whole lot more on bonafide hustler patreon i picked up some cool things from thrift stores today we got this leather bag right here which i'm going to be showing on just the finds and then we got this awesome jacket which is tommy hilfiger big flag jacket right here i'll probably show a little bit of that on this vlog but that's later on tonight when i shoot the pictures and everything but yeah i gotta get this thing out of here i gotta find a post person and get this thing out so the new owner can have it. Also, just got an offer for this board right here. All these are my personal boards, but that one right there is a Ray Barbie uh, reissue 2008. It's cool, it's just something I had in my little micro collection, but I decided to put it up for $400 on eBay and I got an offer for 250, then 270, countered with 300, so maybe this board will sell. It's a pretty rare board, actually. I found that at a garage sale, I think uh, 10 bucks, many, 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 many years ago, like eight years ago, and I've skated, I've, and I've taken it to the skate park a couple times here and there, but I don't have much attachment to it like these other boards. So anyway, that one right there. Um, we'll see if the person takes the offer for 300. All right, we're at the next day. I actually picked up a pretty cool bike that's sitting right here. It's got the towel on there. I found this KTM, it's called a Mola Cross. I was sitting at a Goodwill today for 44 bucks. I bought it and I listed it for 450. You know, I think it's going to check out at 300, but you never know. Someone might want it at 450. You never no, but the reason why I'm out here is because I'm about to sell this bike right here. Check it out. And this is a Pajama Party Electra I picked up for 50 bucks <laughs> some months ago. And uh, someone wants to buy it for 200 I had it listed for 400 then 300 And someone is at the 200 mark. And this thing is beautiful. Look at this polka dot green bike. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. So I think she's going to love it, whoever buys this bike. 
But yeah, it's gonna be a cash deal here in a second. Now the lady did say she's coming at 442 and it's actually 442 right now. So at any second, a car should be coming down the, oh, look at this. I'm talking and here comes a minivan down the cul-de-sac right now. <laughs> that is crazy. Looks like this is what's taking it home. It's a hybrid minivan. I can barely hear it pulling up. Oh my gosh. And just like that, we have 200 bucks. I wish it was 20s and 10s. That way I could have good garage sale money for tomorrow. But two crisp bills, I'll still be all right with that. All right, so we're further along in the day, right? So with that bike and everything. And I sent an offer out for the Ray Barbie board. Here it is. And um, yeah, someone took it. So $300, this board is going out to a, probably a collector. This thing is super cool. So... Not something you see every single day, but it's a beautiful board, and I'm just glad that somebody's going to be able to ride it. It's definitely something to look at one last time. We're in the Bonafide Hustler garage, or the goddamn gym. Anyway, on the ground here, something super cool that I found from a thrift store um, a couple days ago. I just want to show it to you guys and gals. Um, this was 11 bucks out the door. I think there's a possibility that this thing can sell between $150 and $200. Jackets to bucks, baby. Check it out. It's a vintage... Ski do Bombardier jacket. That's right. Look at those colors. Incredible condition. Even has little vents for your armpits. It's just awesome. I, I can't believe I found this thing in a thrift store. And it was actually a kind of an expensive thrift store. Because we got a lot of those in Austin, Texas. But yeah, jackets to bucks all day long. And by the way, the new guide, Jackets to Bucks, is coming out really, really soon. So stay tuned. There's going to be a really good early bird discount for that guide when it comes out. It'll teach you everything you need to know about uh, making money on jackets or very profitable jackets. Um, so yeah, you should check it out when it comes out. But that's a cool find. Oh yeah. I'm just looking at it. It's pretty sweet. Now, a couple more finds before I close this video out. Um, these were found last weekend at garage sales. I don't know if I'm going to edit the garage sale vlog or not. It's kind of in disarray right now. But uh, I'll show you some of the cool things. These were a dollar a piece. Yeah, a dollar a piece for this 1996, I want to say, Winona Judd t-shirt, single t stitch sleeve. You would think like, oh, that's got to be worth a lot of money. You know, it's probably going to shake out between like 50 and maybe 70 bucks, which I guess in like vintage t or retro t-shirt land, it's not super vintage, but retro t-shirt land, that's pretty good turnaround. This was also a dollar right here. Now, I don't ever watch, I never watched Xena, the Warrior Princess, but this is a 1997 shirt of Gabrielle, bard of... Potei uh, I don't know what the hell that means. But anyway, so, you know, it's a cool shirt. Um, yeah, It's not single stitch sleeve, but it's just a cool shirt for a dollar. I think that one's going to sell for right around 70 to 90 bucks. Strangely enough, it's a little bit worth a little bit more than the one I went over the Judd t-shirt. But those are two cool things that I found at garage sales last weekend. I mean, I found some cool things. I always find cool things, but you know. I just like vintage tees. They're fun. <laughs> vintage tees. The buck's coming out soon. No, actually, it's not. But I just like them. So, and they're sitting down there. I'm looking at them. But that's where the vlog ends, and I hope you enjoyed everything. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you on the next Bonafide Hustler, you know, everything vlog. Take it easy. Goodbye. <laughs>